This article contains big spoilers for Solo, a Star Wars story. So Disney's latest Star Wars anthology movie, Solo, a Star Wars store worked for some people who were perhaps turned off by The Last Jedi's subversive nature, but a lot of people didn't seem too bothered. The film did have one big twist, though, and it was something that no one saw coming. As Amelia Clark's QIRA assumed control of the Crimson Dawn crime syndicate, she got on the blower to her boss who turned out to be Advertisement, continue reading below Darth Maul, his inclusion seems like an obvious sequel hook, and while that's definitely part of it, the film's writers have stated that their main reason for writing him in his thematic, Maul, was my favorite character. In the prequel trilogy and I was determined that Dryden was not the top of the food chain, Jonathan Kasdan told Gizmodo, we both wanted the criminal underworld to feel way bigger than we could see in this movie. and that Han would be a minnow surrounded by sharks, Lawrence Kasdan added that, the larger theme is everybody works for somebody. Evil are good, you're not in control of your destiny, which is very important to us. The thing about Maul, Jonathan continued, is that he is a character freighted with baggage, this is a character who comes with so much narrative richness that to glimpse him has power and the promise of stories to come, if you're thinking that Maul will be the villain in the heavily rumored Obi-Wan Kenobi movie, don't get your hopes up. The canonical TV show Rebels showed Maul traveling to Tatooine and meeting his old nemesis for the first time since the Clone Wars. Within the Star Wars timeline, Solo takes place at least half a decade before Rebels, so there's scope for exploring Maul as head of the criminal underworld before he gets to where he is in Rebels, and we could easily see that fitting in with a Boba Fett movie more than anything. Solo, a Star Wars story is out now. Book tickets here. Want up to the minute entertainment news and features? Just hit like on our Digital Spy Facebook page and follow on our Digital Spy Twitter account and you're all set.